seen Terry from the Hardwick, Abergavenny, just outside Abergavenny. The Hardwick's all about just a good, honest delivery of uh, quality food. Our philosophy is based on simple produce, um, local where, 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 where possible, which is quite a lot. I mean, all our livestock and most of our veg is local. But what we don't get locally, you know, we get some nice stuff from Italy, France and Spain, but that's it, we don't get anything further than that. At the end of the day, it's Ron Seal cooking, it does what it says on the menu. So, Neil, today we are going to be cooking, we're following our spring theme, we've got a rack of lamb, I just thought it would be nice and appropriate, but it's spring lamb. We've got some fresh peas, fresh broad beans. This is white sprouting asparagus, asparagus, asparagus uh, broccoli, sprouting broccoli, from um, up at Timau, the organic farm behind us. Yeah. Barba de Frati, which is like a marsh grass from, yeah. from Italy. Some breakfast radish and some asparagus. And it's the Ross and white asparagus just started now. We've got some uh, wild garlic and we've got some uh, red stalk spinach. A bit of lemon and some chicken stock just for the sauce. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to score with a knife. See, it's thicker here, the fat there, than it is there. So in recognition, I'm just going to score this here just so the heat can penetrate a little easier. So I'm just going to pop him into a pan. It's a dry pan, so he just goes in there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty hot. You don't want it ridiculously hot because it will just start to scorch it. You want to sort of You've got to coax the fat out of it gently. I mean, you know, so because I'm rendering the fat out and cam well, caramelizing, just getting it nice and more palatable, really, just more you want to eat it. You know? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like any meat, you know, the flavor, most of the flavor, a lot of the flavor is in the fat. Uh, pass the uh, flour up, please, Dave. Cheers. So I'm just going to lightly flour this, sorry, this is a risotto cake. So it is quite soft. Yeah. So is that just normal plain flour? Yeah, just plain flour. Do you season it at all? The flour? No. Well, everything else is seasoned. I mean, you know, it's like, where do you stop doing, really? You can, you can if, it's like, if it's something specifically for a reason about, you know, uh, you know, you want to flour something or, and you want to put some paprika or something like that in there. Yeah, fair enough, don't you? Just put that back over there, please, John. So you can see that's coming out of there now, but I still want to... Some of that lamb fat, actually, we'll put some of that lamb fat in there, look. Makes sense, doesn't it? Really? So still, I just want to pull it off to the side, so it's slow that down a wee bit. So that's nice and coloured. See, that's getting coloured. So I'm just going to stick him back through the oven. And that, that'll only take uh, five minutes. Yeah, medium, yeah. Just, I don't really do oven temperatures. I mean, it's, like, it's, just, it's just on, you know. Uh, OK, so I'm going to put a little bit of that lamb fat in there for, our, for the garnish. Right, if you bring that off now, I'm going to cut down some cutlets on it. So all, all this here, we just need to sort of put, it's all been, the peas have been blanched. Yep. The asparagus, the, um, the white uh, sparring broccoli, the barber de fratty, and that's raw, but it just takes seconds, really. Yep. Apart from the breakfast radish, that'll just go in at the end. So you always um, shall your broad beans? Yeah. Unless they're really tiny, yeah. I don't see the point then. So I'm just going to cut this, and as I cut it, just cut it down by the side of the side of the bone. So you see, this this here hasn't been touched, obviously, but this is starting to render down. It's all so that's going to, what's going to cook on the on the pan. Yeah. And I like I like my beef medium rare, but I like my lamb medium rare to medium, more towards medium. I think lamb just needs that little bit more cooking for me. Yeah. Let's put a bit of oil on them. I 
Okay, so just put those on to, to grill. They've got a grill pan that's been on the stove for a little while. You could do it in just a pan if you wanted to. Or you could roast... That's like a griddle, is it? Yeah. Or you could just do it in a... In a and roll those roast as a rack. This is a cold-pressed uh, extra virgin uh, rapeseed oil. Yeah. Oh, right. mm. Which I like, it's got a... Um, take... Quite nutty. Oh, it is really nice. Mm. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Yeah. You don't get the pepper in as strong like it would with olive oil. No. And it's a different, it's a different temperature to olive oil as well. Yeah. So, wild garlic, just put a knife through the wild garlic. The spinach will just wilt down. So that's all going to go in there. So that's like I say, so it's all been it's all been blanched, and that will all go into the uh, into the water in two seconds. Just want to make sure this. Uh... So you see, okay. occasionally with a pan, a grill pan, it'll get uh, some. I mean, you want a, you want a bit of dark on it, but I don't want too much on this. So that's it, and what I do yep. for the other side, just to show you the difference, I'll just put it through. Um, so, so for those people that you know wouldn't want to use a grill pan, use a flat pan as well. Just so. It's There's our risotto cake. We'll get a crisp pasta, a large main course. Oh, no, actually, it's just a wing plate. It's a... Right? Yeah. There's a chicken stock. Put a chicken stock there. This veg, just drop into boiling water. Salted boiling water. So there's a little bit, just a bit of chicken stock in the lamp pan there. There's the wild garlic, the radish. So, go like that. We use a little bit of um, salsa verde in with the vegetables, which is just fresh herbs, olive oil, um, capers. Very simple, just lots of fresh flavours, which goes very well with the, sort of, with the vegetables. Bit of fresh mouthy lemon zest. Did you 
again, just, just gives that a little bit. Because acidity is really important in this type of dish. It makes you salivate. Now, this is, you've got the saliva glands down here. When you eat food, it makes you make a, you know, when you're eating, you want to be sort of thinking, oh, that's nice, I'll have some more of that, as opposed to, you know, the whole stealth food thing that passed over the, the, the uh, taste buds undetected, you know. You know, that's just, uh, something for everyone, isn't it, really? I mean, that's, that's how it so, you know, grilled lamb cutlets with a risotto cake and the, and the nice spring vegetables, and that's a nice, nice tasty supper, that. And nice spring on the plate. Spring on the plate, yeah, absolutely. Well, you get some, uh, some knife and pork, some little, a little taste.